Hey, what's going on? It's Liam here from Tinnitus Treatment. And what I want to touch on in this video is the fact that fasting is safe. Okay, fasting is safe. What's not safe is uh, blasting your insulin to sky high levels, which causes inflammation. It causes a whole bunch of issues. It can also cause hyperinsulinemia. It causes calcium deposits and soft tissue. And guess what? There's soft tissue in your ears. Also, if you don't fast, okay, if you don't fast, and I'm talking one, two, three, four, five, six days, whether it's water or dry, your body cannot. Um, produce the autophagy effect which is to clean out old cells. Now I went over this very much in a huge amount of detail on a webinar with my closed group guys that basically your inner ear is electric, it turns the sound waves into electricity through neurotransmitters. Your cells die in your body, your cells are constantly dying and being replaced. But people get that wrong, okay? Your cells aren't dying and being replaced, your cells are dying and you're growing new cells but your dead cells and your, and your living cells still suck energy from the food that you consume. So as you get older and older and you don't fast, there's less energy for each cell, okay? It's kind of like if you have a woman and she's giving birth to kids every single year um, and she has a finite amount of food from the husband who brings in the money and brings in the food and the kids never move out of home, okay? So by the time the first kid hits 18 and you've got a one-year-old in the house, Let's imagine that you know the second kid hits 18 the next year, the third kid hits 18 the first year, there's not enough food to go around, and so people are consuming food, consuming food, and then eventually you've got to make the decision, okay? You've got to, you've got to say, okay, you've got to get the fuck out of the house. That's what fasting does. It kicks the cells out of the house. And the mainstream, people in the mainstream, basically doctors, how they get trained, and nutritionists, which are even worse, um, they're just stupid. They're just so stupid, and they think that fasting is dangerous. I see people on YouTube talk about how, you know, you should jump into a crazy fasting routine. It's not fucking crazy. It's safe. It's safe, and you have to do it, okay? If you want to be... Don't, don't even worry about tinnitus for the meantime. Worry about your fucking health and your arteries and your mental health as well. The, the Greeks, okay? The Greeks, when, when their soldiers started to get schizophrenia or started to get crazy or hallucinate or get amnesia, or just have a mental problem, they would lock them in a jail cell and dry fast them for weeks. For weeks, because they knew, I don't know how they figured it out, but they knew that the brain needs to be recycled, okay? And if they kept, because back then they were drinking alcohol, eating bread, rice grains, lots of shit, okay? They're very healthy, but lots of shit, okay? I'm sure the water was very clean though. So they just did that, they just locked them in a fuck and they went, all right, Jonathan, or like whatever the names they used to do back then, is getting real sick, okay, he's starting to go crazy, he's getting a bit loopy, okay, lock him in a jail cell for two weeks. And no one was exempt from that treatment, okay? Um, advisors to the king, um, soldiers, generals, no one was exempt from people going, we should lock him in, in the jail cell for two weeks and drive past him. Now that was basically borderline torture because they were forcing him to do it. And I'm not saying you should do that, that's crazy, but prolonged fasting, is safe and I had a woman just message me on Instagram today and go whoa it's it's I'm in 50 hours of my water fast I'm not even hungry because why are those why are we surprised that we're not hungry it's because we're told every day we're inundated with oh breakfast is the most important meal of the day and it's insinuating that there's more meals you should be having through the day and people think one meal a day is healthy but it's not you will not get healthy and I, I want to um, show you one thing as well but I'm going to send you a link down the bottom to a video I want you guys to watch and it's a guy that I really, really rate, okay? And I found out about him like two months ago, something like that. And he's fantastic. He knows what he's talking about, about fasting. He's, his name is Cole. He runs a YouTube channel called The Snake Diet. He's fucking top shit. And he went on the show called The Doctors. And you can just see how stupid, how stupid these people are, these doctors who've probably never been in a general practitioner role in about 10 years. They just take their TV check and re read from a teleprompter. Thank you very much. And they just... It's unbelievable. I'll just let you watch the video, but, but the real message in this video is fasting is safe. And if you haven't done it yet, don't worry about looking at the research. Just look at what's happening to people who don't fast. Who's not fasting? Everybody in the fucking world. Everybody is not fasting, okay? Everyone's just eating all day long, drinking coffee, alcohol, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's a sometimes food. Like, give me a break. Like, sometimes, in, once a day is not a sometimes food, okay? But, hope this helps. Start fasting. Um, speak to your doctor first, I have to say that, obviously. But um, I've, I've had a, a few people who've told me that their doctors, they take my advice to the doctors and the doctors say, yeah, this is amazing. Do it. Do the fasting. And some say, oh, this is absolutely ridiculous. And they have no idea what they're talking about. They have no idea. Because fasting, for some reason unknown to me, 
is some wacky way out thing. It seems like such a crazy thing, like people are nuts and you've got to go do a retreat to fast. Because it's, um, it's not so much a common thing in our lives today, whereas it should be. Anyway, so um, hope this video helped and talk soon.